was established in 1971 to help preserve the local wildlife. Unfortunately, poachers or illegal hunters still go after our elephants. So we have wildlife wardens patrolling by plane our 800 square miles of reserve. We're going to be in constant radio contact with them at all times since we are their eyes on the ground. All right, let's roll. away from us there. They are so shy and reclusive they weren't discovered by the Western world until 1901. Also on your left here walking around on the ground, those are helmeted guinea fowl. Over here on the right side on the top of the hill, I see some bongo. Now they're often called the ghosts of the forest because they hide so well up there. And over on our left straight ahead, I see a black rhino. Now, despite their look of indestructibility, those black rhinos have been hit hard by poaching. And unfortunately, there's only 3,100 in the entire world. And we're looking at one right now. So we are very lucky. And on your right, you'll see another view of Bongo there up on the top of the hill. Over on your left, I see some saddle-built storks. Now, they are the tallest storks in Africa. They reach an eight-foot wingspan. Well, I hear the wardens talking up there right now. We'll let them know where we are. Send one to Wilson. Are you making the rounds today? Yes, I have a question. My favorite wildlife researcher. Bob Jumbo, everyone. Well, hey guys, we're headed west over the Safi River. If you have any wildlife spotting tips, we'll be glad to hear them. Over. Roger, Zimbabwe. We'll do. Over. All right, now we're passing over Safi River here. It is known for its hippopotamus population. Over on your left, I see some hippos. Now, during the day, they keep those big bodies nice and cool, stay in the water, but at night they come out and they can consume up to 150 pounds of vegetation. Now, they can stay underwater submerged like that for five to eight minutes. Also 
go along your left here on the island, I see some Egyptian geese, some yellow pintail doves. These are all native East African birds. White breasted cormorants over here on the left. When you come to City County Bridge, go one and one in. Very slowly. That old bridge has been better days. And I think our chimney eyes friend, the crocodile, knows. Roger that, Wilson. I'll take this bridge nice and easy. On the left, I see Nile crocodile down there. Now they get a lot bigger than the American alligator. Up to 20 feet long.
Now much of the savanna is molded by the animals that call it home. You'll see some downed trees and that's from the elephants. They bulldoze them over and it helps grasses spread. Now the giraffe, they nibble at the understories of the trees which help let light in. We have zebras and wildebeest that uh, mow down the vast areas of the savanna. And then the little nibblers like those toms and gazelles or warthogs trim up the edges. So in a healthy ecosystem, everyone has enough food. Now up on the right, you'll see some impala on the very top of the hill there. And looks like we're following a giraffe here. They're right in front of us enjoying our buddy ride path here. They do have the right of way on the savanna, so just sit back and hold tight. Let them do their thing. Now the name giraffe or giraffa means one who is graceful. That's quite a compliment since they have such long lanky legs. On your right, you'll see some white bearded wildebeest and some more impala in the very back. The white bearded wildebeest are the largest herding animals in the entire world. Now, often on the other side of this big rock here to the left, we spot mandrels. Very colorful monkeys. Oh yes, I see some playing up there on the top of the rock. On the left. So on the right here are some eastern white pelicans. Now you'll see them grooming up there on the left, and that helps strengthen their social bonds. We're entering into elephant country. I'm going to call Wilson and see if he's seen our most two famous residents. Some one, have you seen elephant? Uh, some, uh, little red or big red around over. I have not seen them today. Try the red clay pit. Big red is the elephant's matriarch who reserves her. She gave birth a while ago to a new calf. He just bathed in the same red clay pit as his mama. So I named him Little Red. Elephants are wonderfully social creatures. They have moods, sympathies, and emotions. Over. Roger that. Now, over to your right, I see a male elephant there. A baby elephant will stay with its mother for 13 to 15 years. And in that time, they learn what to eat, where to drink, and how to interact with the other animals of the herd. Well, the more we research elephant behavior, we realize how complex their family structure is. In just a second, I'm going to head on over to the red clay pits and see if we can get a look at Little Red and Big Red. Uh-oh, I see a rickety old bridge, another one. I'm going to be ready to cross their fingers for me and hold tight to the kids. We'll just cross it nice and slow. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, lean to your right. Somebody must not have crossed their fingers for me back there. Right in the middle of the two elephants on your left. It almost looks like a rock, but it is a baby elephant. Solace 
bowels, no worries. Stop thinking about the warden's post when we get a chance. Over. Yep. If you look back farther to your left, you can see him again. This is just a radio. Now that is a male, you can tell from here. So males get about 12,000 pounds, so he's got a lot of growing to do. Females get about 8,000. So. He's a lot bigger than his mama there. on the road here in front of us are some Patterson's eland and they are the largest antelope species. They can reach seven foot at their shoulder and 2,000 pounds. Back on your right I see a white rhino and a little closer another ostrich. Guys, look up by the left. The male lion stood up. Now they hunt at night and sleep during the day, so it's really cool to see them up. Now straight ahead and what will be on our left, I see some warthogs. Now they are the largest burrowing animal in all of 
of Africa. There's one laying on the top, and you'll see some of their burrows down here below. Come in, what are you doing? Over. What do I hear? There are ivory reporters in the reserve. They shot Big Red. She is wounded. What now? Big Red. No word yet. Where was it last seen? Magadi gone. Okay, you head there. Roger. Kwaharini, everybody. Cole, Kiribuni, welcome to the Warden's Post. 